So today I want to talk about chat GPT and how I've been using it or have been analyzing it to see how accurate it is for the real estate industry. So let's get right into it. So I told it to, let me see if you can see here, write a script on how to sell your house without a realtor. So I have a for sale by owner guide and I doubt, and I researched this topic hugely. And being in the industry, I kind of know some things that you might be able, the, the owner might be able to take over. And uh, I wanted to see how accurate it was. And I am very surprised how well this artificial intelligence, AI, is pulling out this content. So this put it in the script of a YouTube video. Hey there, are you looking to sell your house but don't want to pay a realtor's commission? It might seem intimidating to sell it on your own, but it's actually not as hard as you think. And this video will walk you th through the steps of how to sell your house without a realtor. This is perfect. Like even just reading it aloud, it seems uh, like a good YouTube video. So I want to talk about a little bit more, elaborate on the points. So the first one it tells me is determine the value of your house. Absolutely agree. First thing is you have to know where your foundation is, where it's lying, and what's going on around. And here it talks about using online tools like Zillow or Redfin, if you, you know, just to get a kind of an estimate. And you can, or you can ask a local real estate agent. I would get a couple of real estate agents to just walk by, give you their CMAs, and you can look at the comparables to get accurate. And the way that this the way you sell houses is through a bid system. You see what's been selling around, and then an, even appraisers will use those numbers in order to justify the price later to the banker. Make necessary repairs and improvements. This one definitely I wanted I would do this before you market or put it. Um, you know, you take pictures. So fix your repairs, make any improvements will increase the value of your home. This might include updating the kitchen, bathroom, painting, replacing old windows. Painting, you definitely want clear paintings, uh, not anything dark, uh, white. Uh, th those colors are just going to make the house seem cleaner and more open. Stage your house, make sure the house looks as best before you start showing it. Absolutely. Decluttering, cleaning, staging the home to make it as attractive. Very good. I, I have nothing to add. So far, these three points have been right on, on target. This is what I would have said. Create marketing materials. You'll need to create some materials to help promote your home. This might include a for sale sign, flyers, website, or online listing. Really? This is fantastic. Uh, you could elaborate a little bit more. You could use videos. Um, you could send this through email marketing to a database of people that you can purchase. So there, there's there's a number of things you can do on the marketing. And that's where it really separates the, the home sales. Uh, show your house to potential buyers. You need to schedule showings for potential buyers and be prepared to answer any questions. Very good. On this one, especially since the market's going a little bit, the, the market is shifting. So there's less number of buyers at the moment and more properties are coming up for sale. I would definitely recommend scheduling them during the open house. So that way it, people see each other and there's more of that a competitive advantage for the sellers uh, because you need to create that demand. Demand is really is going to drive that price up. Negotiate and close the, negotiate and close the sale. When you receive an offer from potential buyers, it's important to review, negotiate, and then once you've agreed on a price and the terms, you'll need to close the sale with the help of a lawyer or title company. Excellent. Fantastic. I have no complaints here. Very good. I did want it to elaborate a little bit more and show your house to potential buyers. So I asked it, tell me a little bit more on point five. So it said schedule showing to potential buyers at the time that is convenient for both parties and make sure the house is clean and tidy. Consider using a lockbox to allow potential buyers to view the house when you're not present. This can be a convenient option. Make sure you're, uh, yeah, and use security valuables. Okay, that's exactly what I tell every single one of my clients. Nothing's happened, but let's let's make sure that we're safe beforehand. Um, be prepared to answer questions potential buyers might have about the house. Very good. I usually put this ahead of time. One of the, the best tactics that happens is you put all the disclosures, you do a pre-listing inspection, put it out there so they can't negotiate on those items. And what you do is that all those people are competing for the, the price and they all know the, uh, the conditions of the house. Um, 
It can be helpful to have a list of features. Yes, very good. This will also help with the appraisal, considering offering incentives to the buyers, closing costs, or providing home warranty. So far, I'm very impressed. I think that uh, chat GPT is going to get better and better as it learns from people as we can put in recommendations so i saw that if i see something wrong i can i, I can add feedback to it uh and it's you know it's good and it's scary because a lot of these things are going to become automated and uh, it's going to make the output so how how many videos someone can come in so much quicker so it, we're going to have an, an issue of is this person an artificial intelligence person or is this person even real possibly in the future or is this a genuine human being and we might get to a point where we're thankful that it's a artificial intelligence because they're they're just going to know so much more than any any human being because they have access to everything but uh anyway that's my reaction video to chat gpt on how to sell a house on your own and if you do want to download the for sale by owner guide that i spent hours and days and weeks creating uh, looking at surveys and studies on which words have a higher sell point and which ones to avoid. So like the word rehab had, I think, a 4% less sales price overall throughout the entire country when that word was in the description. So I included all of that below on my for sale by owner guide, and it's all down there free for you to make the best decision for you and your family. All right. Until next time.